I made this building, this tower or this building that might help you remember these cytokines, different cytokines. So this is kind of a story. All right, so if you're not sleeping yet, let's start the story here that this is a building or this is a tower and this tower is called International Tower. So why I named it International Building? Because inter stands for interleukins, all right? So this building is weird type of building because it has these different levels and these levels are not uh, maintaining the chronology. As you see, this is the level one, level two, level three, level four, five, six. There is no seven. It goes to eight, it goes to 10, it goes to 13. This thing was made based on your uh, interleukin list in your first aid. There's a page of cytokine listing and it describes these different functions of the cytokine. But if you go over this mnemonic kind of thing, it will be helpful to understand or remember, not to understand, to remember this thing. The level one that is interleukin one. Okay, so what is happening in the level one? A hot receptionist is sitting there and her name is OAF. That means her name initial is OAF. And a lot of people in white dress are stuck in the first floor. This is the level one. So in the level one, a in this building, a hot receptionist is sitting there and uh, her name starts, her initials of the name are OAF, and there are a lot of people in white dress, they're stuck in the first floor, because maybe they're probably noticing that hot girl, who knows. In the level two, there is called the help zone. This is called the help zone. Now, in the help zone, what is happening? A bald guy, that means a guy without hair, is sitting, and four guys are waiting for help. What are those guys? Four guys, N, K, H, C, R. So in the level two, a bald guy is getting help. Whatever help it is, I don't know. What is this help? Maybe hair transplantation. And these other guys, N, K, H, C, and R, they are sitting here to get the help. In level three, there is a colony of General Motors. The General Motors, the worldwide recognized motor company. They are having a colony there and they are having a meeting with BMW. They are having a meeting with BMW. In level four, there are two brothers. They are twin brothers, names Hans and Harry, H and H, two H. They are sitting there and they are eating eggs. They are eating eggs. In level five, there are pictures of a big A. That means a big A is an A. A picture of A is just hanging in the wall in level five. In the level six, there is a hot credit card representative. That means say, it can be a guy or a girl because guys can be hot also, right? So this hot credit card representative is sitting there in the level six and he or she is discussing about the APR. What is APR? APR is the, uh, the bank. If you, if you're familiar with the credit cards, there is something called APR. That means bank gives you some loan and they gives you some interest based on that interest. There is rate of this APR, annual percentage rate. APR, this guy is discussing this APR. In the level eight, there is a new cleanup company. New cleanup company. That means they are cleaning up something and they are new. In the level 10, there's peaceful registration of USMLE exam is going on. So you see that level six after that eight, then 10. The seven and nine is not there. In the 13, then after 10 comes the 13, a tall doctor helping another bald guy doing general examination, general physical examination in the level 13. Now, these are the uh, cytokine building or international building and how you remember this. 
Now level one, it stands for interleukin one, right? And interleukin one is a pro-inflammatory cytokine. That means it will cause fever and it will cause inflammation. When it causes inflammation, there is hotness. And this hot thing will remember, will remind you of this hotness or inflammation. Also, this OAF stands for osteoclast activating factor. This interleukin one works as osteoclast activating factor. That means osteoclast get activated and they resolve the bone. Also, there are white people stuck, white dress people stuck in the first floor. That means this interleukin one help the white blood cell stuck to the endothelium of the blood vessel. Because you know, in the endothelium of the blood vessel, this white blood cell stuck here, right? They are stuck or they're sticked to those blood vessel wall. And that is done by the interleukin one. So this story reminds you of interleukin one function. In the interleukin two, this is the help zone because interleukin two or level two, interleukin two, it helps the B cell growth. That is the bald guy, B cell growth. It helps the NK cell growth. It helps the T helper cell growth, it helps the C cell growth, that means T cytotoxic cell growth, it helps the regulatory cell growth. So this is all over. This interleukin 2, it helps and helps and helps. And this story of help zone remind you of the interleukin 2. Interleukin 3 or level 3, there is colony of general motors. That means this thing works as a colony stimulating factor. What is this colony stimulating factor that will work on the bone marrow? That is BMW. That means it will help grow the hematopoietic stem cell, interleukin three. Interleukin four, two brothers, twin brothers, H and H, that means TH2 cell, usually release the interleukin four, and they are eating eggs. And what this TH2 cell does by releasing interleukin-4, they help the B cell to release immunoglobulin E. So TH2 cell releases interleukin-4 and that interleukin-4 help the B cell release immunoglobulin E. And this story of twin brothers, Hans and Harry, H and H, that is, 2H or H2, TH2, that helps, they are eating eggs, E stands for immunoglobulin E. So that is, that reminds you of this function. Interleukin 5, a big picture of A, and that is actually IgA, immunoglobulin A, and interleukin 5 helps the B cell produce immunoglobulin A. Class switching. This thing is called class switching. When you go to the discussion of B cell in more detail, we'll see how the class switching all works. That means uh, sometimes you see that uh, in our body, first response or first infection, when there is first infection, there is immunoglobulin M. But eventually, that immunoglobulin changed to immunoglobulin G. This is called class switching. And this is one of the class switching. And from the immunoglobulin G, immunoglobulin A is produced. And that is by the help of this interleukin 5. Level 5, picture of big A. Interleukin 6, another hot thing going on, that is another inflammation is going on. Level interleukin 6 is pro-inflammatory. And also this is acute phase reactant. Interleukin 6 works in release of acute phase reactant. That means another inflammatory markers. Let me check what is acute phase reactant. Uh, interleukin six, cause fever, stimulates production. Okay, so interleukin six produce this acute phase reactants. That means in our body, when there is some inflammation, there is some cells, some proteins, some are generated. Those are acute phase reactants. We're going to describe it, which proteins are acute phase reactants. Those acute phase reactants are stimulated by this interleukin-6. Level 8, interleukin-8, 
there is new cleanup company. New stands for neutrophil. New stands for neutrophil. Now, this thing, interleukin-8, is a chemotactic agent. That means it calls the neutrophil to clean up because neutrophil is a inflammatory cell, right? When it comes, it will capture the debris, or it will capture the pathogens, and it will clear the area. So neutrophil is there, and it is cleaning up. New cleanup company. Interleukin-10, there is peaceful registration of USMLE is going on. That means interleukin-10 is very peaceful. What it does, it is anti-inflammatory. Interleukin-10 is anti-inflammatory. It suppresses the inflammation. And that's why the word peaceful. Interleukin-13, a tall doctor helping a bald guy doing general examination. I think this is the T cell. Tall doctor stands for the T cell. And this thing is happening if it has 12, not 13. Let's see. Okay, I made this from my FA. But there is interleukin 13. There is interleukin 13. If It may not be in the FA, but there is interleukin 13. Okay, I think interleukin 13. Yes. Uh, you, you're right that there is interleukin-12, but uh, I didn't enter the interleukin-12 in this building. What this interleukin-12 does, it induces differentiation of T cell into Th1 cell. So uh, that is that was discussed in the previous picture that here, let me show you mm, here. Here's the interleukin-12 works, and it converts the naive T cell to T helper 1 cell, right? But interleukin-13 is also there, maybe not in FA, but interleukin-13 is there. And what this does, interleukin-13, it also helps the B cell generate e, IgE. That's why I entered it here. So. Uh, you are correct that there is interleukin-12, but there is also interleukin-13. Not in your book, but you can find it in the question. Interleukin-13, uh, T cell produces this interleukin-13, and this thing helps the B cell produce immunoglobulin E. GE stands for immunoglobulin E. So this is your interleukin international building and that may help you remember the different interleukins.